Good afternoon. This information is for Tiger Air customers travelling on TT663 to Melbourne. Good morning. Welcome to Murray's service. My name's Arthur. I'll be taking you guys into camera. Hello everyone, welcome back. I just had a haircut. Um, this is going to be my last video before my upcoming around the world trip, which will commence next week. I'm really excited. Um, there are going to be a lot of interesting contents coming up, especially flight reviews. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now, I'm going to fly Tiger today from Canberra to Melbourne. It's going to be a Boeing 737-800 aircraft in an extra legroom seat. Woohoo! And tomorrow I'll be catching Mari's coach back to Canberra. Amaris is an Australian express and coach charter company which operates mainly between Canberra, Sydney and uh, Brisbane to Roomba. In November, Amaris launched a two daily direct service between Canberra and Melbourne. The journey takes 8 hours and it only costs $20. So for this video, I'm going to compare Tiger Air with Amaris Coach. See if it's worth spending $100 on a flight or if sitting in a coach for 8 hours isn't necessarily a bad option. So let's go and um, see you guys at the airport. Welcome to Canberra Airport again. Tag Airways today. Two weeks to Christmas, one week to my trip begins. Merry Christmas. Welcome to Melbourne. Please remain seated and familiarize yourself with your seat number and spoiling documents shortly. Time to board the flight. Tiger mainly operates Airbus A320s in their fleet. But they currently do have six Boeing 737-800 aircrafts, which I believe were either retired or given from its parent company, Virgin Australia. These aircrafts are fully refurbished, featuring leather seats, new cabin interior, and 2cm more legroom than the seats on A320s. To further enhance customers' comfort, the first five rows on Tiger's Boeing 737s are extra legroom seats. The seat 4A, which I'm sitting at, has an 83cm pitch, which is huge for an economy class seat. And it only costs $15 extra than standard seats. I would highly recommend these seats if you're gonna fly from Sydney or Melbourne to Perth. <laughs> As Tiger Air is a budget airline, so for food and beverage on board, you have to pay for it. Here is a menu. Now you can see Parrish's ski resort below. It's the largest ski resort in the southern hemisphere. In winter, the view from the sky is amazing. I didn't notice Tiger Air has its own entertainment app before, which is called Tiger Tain. We can stream movies and TV shows to a device, similar to Quantit and Virgin Australia's entertainment app, except you have to pay for it to show you want to watch. Now let's look at Tiger's hard product. Because my seat has an enormous amount of legroom, I literally own two windows. Each seat has a tray table and a holder for your personal device. I guess this is designed for the Tiger tank. <laughs> Each seat is also reclinable, which is a great feature for a budget airline. The flight time to Melbourne is only about 15 minutes, so we started our descent very shortly. Overall, like always, I really enjoyed this Tiger Air flight. Welcome to Melbourne, guys. Let's go to the city. What's the experience? 
15 minutes in the air and now I'm in Melbourne. <laughs> Thanks for your support, Tiger. My bus back to Canberra leaves tomorrow morning, so now I get some time to enjoy my album in Melbourne. Now, good night, Melbourne. Good morning. It's now seven o'clock, and I'm ready for breakfast. Yeah, it looks pretty nice, eh? Um, My bus back to camera will leave at 9 o'clock at um, Southern Cross Station Coach Terminal which is literally just right across the road so um, I enjoy my breakfast now and see you guys later Good morning from Southern Cross Station now let's head back to camera So the distance between Melbourne and Canberra is about 661 kilometers and takes about 7 hours. The bus seems empty today, which is good. Everyone gets a spare seat next to them. Now, let the journey begin. 8 hours. We are now halfway through our trip. This river, Murray River, is the border between Victoria and New South Wales. Welcome to New South Wales! <laughs> and we'll get back on the bus at 1.15 please, thank you very much. So we get about half an hour at Albury. We get to stretch our leg and have lunch. 8.50 for a pasta. A little bit expensive. Now it's three and a half hours from home. Yes, Canberra. We are almost there. Australian Capital Territory. Welcome back to Canberra. We made it. So, Tiger vs Maris, who's the winner? Well, they both are really good and has their own cons and pros. The cheapest price you can get with Tiger Air is $87, but this doesn't include any tax package. The experience during the flight was smooth and pleasant. For Maris, the seat has plenty of legroom. There is free Wi-Fi, toilet, and USB port for everyone on board, so you won't get bored. The first few hours of the journey was totally pleasant. But I struggled to find a comfortable position after sitting in the bus for 6 hours. In the end, I was fine though. One thing I need to mention is that the bus was only a third full, so everyone gets a spare seat next to them. I'm not sure if the experience would be the same if you get a stranger sitting next to you. Overall, if you were going to Melbourne, I would recommend you to fly Tiger one way and catch the bus the other way. Maurice also has a night service which departs nightly night and arrives early in the morning. However, if you are on an extreme budget, then $40 return with Maris would be really perfect for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you all next time. Bye.